new Fortnite Star Wars update is here, bringing a ton of free rewards, new mythic weapons, and even some hidden rewards that you need to know about. So make sure you guys do watch the whole way through today's video to find out how to unlock these hidden rewards. Starting with two new bonus styles were added in this update for the Azuki skin, where you guys can now get an Imperial style, which is kind of like a red and yellow style, super cool, as well as the Shiro style, which kind of reminds me of a Stormtrooper skins. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys have actually got these new styles on the Azuki skin yet. But we then have all of the new Star Wars rewards. We'll go over these really, really quickly. So you guys can see there are two different battle passes. One of them is the base free one you guys do get, where you guys can actually unlock a free Clone Trooper skin, which is super, super cool. A free emote, which is also absolutely amazing. You guys can see here, this emote's pretty dope. You guys can also unlock a free Bat Bling, but when you upgrade it, you guys can actually get another Clone Trooper skin, which is super cool. Another Clone Trooper skin, which is the Ahsoka's Clone Trooper, which does kind of tease that Ahsoka will be coming to the game in the near future. And we then also have Darth Maul, bro. This skin is amazing. You guys can only unlock Darth Maul if you guys do upgrade this pass. So if you guys do want a free 1,000 V-Bucks, here's a code on screen for you guys to redeem. And to unlock all these skins, all you need to do is complete the Find the Force quests. You guys can see here, land during Find the Force, you get 200 points. And these points actually do correspond to each reward you guys can get. I'm not quite sure how much they are, but you guys can see here, there is a lot of rewards, so you're going to have to be doing a lot of challenges to get them. But when you actually do complete all of the quests, you guys can get yourself the Sith Infiltrator Glider, which is actually Darth Maul ship, and it's super, super cool. You guys can see here, it's a pretty cool glider, so make sure you guys are completing all of these quests to unlock all of these free skins, because when you actually also do upgrade the battle pass, you can also get the Coruscant's Guard Clone Trooper skin as well, which is actually a really, really nice skin. But the skins don't stop there. If you guys want any of the new Star Wars skins in today's item shop, you guys can see we have Anakin Skywalker, we have Padme, we even have some Clone Troopers in here as well. Remember, I do gift five subscribers every single day to people who do drop a like on the video subscribe with all notifications turned on and leave a comment with your epic id name down below so i can add you guys and a huge thank you to everyone popping in my supporter credit code app one as it does mean an absolute ton but we then have the new level up quest pack for this season being the captain hypertus pack i'm not quite sure how you say the name but it looks amazing bro this skin is by far one of the best level up packs we've ever seen it also comes with a bonus armored style unlockable at a later date the comet carver harvesting tool the starfinder bat blink and finally the crimson sun wrap which looks beautiful we're not 100 sure when it's going to be coming out but you guys can see this skin is by far possibly one of the best level up packs ever i'm actually extremely excited for this to come out the reboot rally rewards have finally now been updated to give us a ton of new free rewards but you guys are going to be able to get the lucky grin emoticon the neon stoppable wrap the yoki tote bat blink and the free claw pickaxe which are all available right now in games so make sure you guys do go and complete these challenges because these awards are actually super, super cool. The new Chapter 2 Origin skins are now in the files, where you guys can get a different style for each season of Season 2, which actually do look pretty cool. The Season 4 style does look absolutely awesome, as well as a different hologram battling for each season, which does look pretty sick, bro. You guys can get some pretty cool hologram battlings. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys will be picking these skins up when they come out. But Fortnite are working on a new FNCS skin for the Renegade Runner skin, which will most likely be coming out for next season's FNCS, but this season's FNCS skin is now in the files and it's just been revealed to be the Aora skin. We already knew this was coming out, but this skin actually looks way better than what we thought it was going to be. So I'm 100% going to be picking this skin up. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are as well. We then have quite a lot of new mythic weapons in this update and here's how they work. We do have two new blasters, the E11 blaster rifle, which has already been in Fortnite before, but the new DC-15 blaster rifle hasn't. This is brand new to the game and is way better than the E11 and they can be found in these new Republican chests scattered around the map. So make sure you guys do use these as they're only in the game for a limited amount of time. And we also have lightsabers returned as well, but you guys can only obtain these by training with a Jedi NPC on the map. When training with Obi-Wan Kenobi, you will receive the green lightsaber and the force push mythic ability. Yes, we do have new mythic abilities this update and they are so, so cool. When training with Anakin Skywalker though, you'll actually be able to get a blue lightsaber and the force pull mythic ability which isn't the best because when you pull someone towards you, they can just shoot you, bro. So it's not the best mythic ability. But when training with Darth Maul on the map, he will give you a red lightsaber and the force of throw, which you guys can see by the trailer 
It's pretty crazy, bro. You can literally throw anything at a player. It's pretty OP. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have used any of these lightsabers yet. And obviously, when using these new mythic weapons or training with Jedis, this is actually completing challenges for Darth Maul. So do not miss out on this skin. But talking about challenges, Fortnite have actually teased more Star Wars skins with one of the quests you're asked to travel 1,138 units of distance. And that number, 1138, is the number cell block which Chewbacca was actually held in the Death Star in in one of the films, which could mean Chewbacca is coming to Fortnite very, very soon, which I think would be pretty cool. This skin is by far going to be one of my favourites if he does come out. We, we also have a new free wrap for you guys to claim, being the Coruscant's Pride Wrap. You guys can unlock this by going in a Discord call with your friends and screen sharing Fortnite to them for at least 15 minutes, and you will receive this wrap for completely free. It's a pretty cool wrap, but I'm not going to lie, it looks exactly the same as one of the ones in the item shop. You guys can see here, they're basically identical. I'm not gonna lie but if you guys do want this free wrap make sure you guys do go stream your fortnite game for at least 15 minutes to a friend we then have a secret babbling you'll be able to unlock after completing all 12 of the force within quests you guys can see in the quest section there are two rewards you guys can get the glider but also the sith holocron babbling this actually isn't previewed anywhere but will be coming out for completely free which i think is really really clean bro it's by far going to be one of my favorite babblings in the game i love simple babblings so this is going to be absolutely awesome and you'll also get the light versus dark loading screen when you do complete all of the quests as well which is just beautiful it looks absolutely amazing and then the second set of challenges will release called the first galactic empire with more free rewards which is insane and we'll probably be getting chewbacca inside of that as well so make sure you guys are on the lookout for them when they do come out because these new challenges and rewards are going to be pretty cool the fortnite are working on the new mythic auto drum shotgun for next season and these are the stats it's going to do 73 body damage and 109 headshot this thing is insane the blues body damage was originally 50 this thing is going to be so overpowered we then have a free fire rate and a free second reload time this gun is going to be the most overpowered gun we've ever seen inside of fortnite bro and the jump shotgun alone was already broken this thing is going to be on another level but fortnite have also added a new version of the spider-man mythics codenamed fearless flight and they're going to cost 600 gold when sold by some npc which means this is going to be for the Miles Morales collab, which we're going to be getting next month. It's going to be coming with two skins, codenamed Hero and Menace, two pickaxes, Batblings, and also an emote. I am so excited for this collab. It's going to be absolutely massive, and it lines up with Season 3's release absolutely perfectly. So let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for both of these two new weapons to come out. The main crew pack is now live. If you guys are a part of the crew pack subscription, when logging in today, you will have received the new Dahlia skin alongside all of her cosmetics, which is actually a really, really cool skin let me know in the comment section below if you guys do like this month's crew pack and we already know next month's crew pack is going to be this stick skin here so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that but that's everything in today's video about the new star wars update let me know in the comment section below if you guys do like this event and i'll see you guys in the next video peace